We're on your side with tonight's cover story. Music has the ability to heal, to highlight moments in our lives and to simply make us feel good. You don't need to see to enjoy it, but for someone who can't, music absolutely sets their imagination on fire. This is especially true for a local musician who is making his mark in the country and bluegrass scene. Natisha Lance has tonight's cover story. Let's see, one, two, three. Angel Paez, who was born blind, began his fascination with music as a toddler at church. I remember listening to all those different instruments and being so curious as to what they looked like, what they felt like, and I wanted to know how to, how to play. I'm no stranger. Music gave him a feeling he'd never felt before. It made me feel like, like I, I could never get enough of it. Like something so cool and so different and new that uh, made me want more. So he started teaching himself to play. First the piano, then the accordion and violin. Over time, he learned to play six instruments all on his own, by ear. It didn't take long for others to recognize Angel's raw talent, too. They entered me into my first, like, radio contest. Um, it was a Spanish radio station here in town, and um, that was kind of my first real motivation to play and get good enough to be on stage. Angel won that contest, and later, even performed at the White House. That more than anything gave me the the kind of the the spark if there ever was one to pursue the music. And pursue music he did. He took to country music most, falling in love with the instrumentation and drawl of the singers during car rides with his dad. My dad had an old C10 Chevy and I remember riding with him and whether he knew what he was playing or not, he was playing country music like Alan Jackson, Clay Walker, but he would just turn it up and we would ride and that's, that's one of my best memories of, of that music. I think that's why I like it. That early love led to a burgeoning career as a musician. He now plays with a few bluegrass bands and performs with two duos. He even had the chance to record at the famed Muscle Shoals in Alabama, where bands like the Rolling Stones and singers like Aretha Franklin recorded hit songs. And if that wasn't enough, the Carolina Country Music Awards nominated Angel for Musician of the Year and Best Fiddler of the Year twice. My dream is to just be able to make a living out of it. I know I'm not going to get rich, but I just want to have enough to, uh, you know, take my family out to dinner every now and then, and then have enough to be able to call my connections and say, hey, let's, let's go do this project. Angel says he's always pushing himself despite sometimes having those intrusive thoughts of self-doubt. I never know what I'm going to get into until I try it. And how many times have you surprised yourself? Oh gosh, more than, more than I can tell you. I'm, good at shelter. I'm pretty shy by nature and I think that's what holds me back sometimes. But a lot of, a lot of times when I, when I encounter that success, whether that be music or just life in general, it, it feels good. It, it feels like I can literally go out and do anything. <laughs> Natisha Lance for On Your Side Tonight. What a terrific story. What talent this young man 